Okay, you tell me when to breathe. Yeah, so I count one, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Jolly Time, my Kim routine on 96.5, making sure those vibes stay alive. <clears throat> but for real, this is Joel, and I'm going to walk you through my weekly chemo routine, which lasted six weeks. You may notice that my audio doesn't match up with the video, and that's because I'm doing this fancy voiceover thing which is necessary as when we were filming, the audio was really bad with background noises and more possible sounds. There are still parts of the video which have low volume or muffled. In those parts, feel free to turn on subtitles and I'm sure there's a button somewhere on your screen to do that. Now let's get cracking. to see that my white cell counts and everything are within a certain range and not too low from the chemo and if they're in the right range then they switch over the chemo button. So yeah, that's the process. Hopefully you get to see your cool blood Oh yeah, it's all gone. It's so good. It'd be really good. Like, before I had to pull the Devon sword, whenever I'd say I was getting one, every single nurse's face would light up and just be happy. And I couldn't understand why. And now that I have it installed and they do it all, it just makes everyone's life easier. Your life, your life. This is me giving blood. This is how I give blood. Instead of getting a needle, it just comes straight out of the of the cap into these tubes, and I don't feel the thing. It's amazing. It's really amazing. Kind of freaky. Uh, yeah, yeah, family. Yeah. You just have no context. I never knew what this stuff was three months ago. Now I'm an expert. Certainly. So what's happening is that the podcast is installed here, but it's, can, you, can you see that thing on my um, collar button? Can you zoom in? Mm -hmm. You see that like bump? Mm -hmm. There's actually this under my skin, which then plugs into a vein in my neck, which has lots of blood and that's really good for everything. So that's where it's actually coming from. It's not coming from the blood of the chest. Yeah, they just flush it to set it out. I don't feel anything. Is this the same one? It feels tiny. There's a difference in temperature. That's what you're talking about. Just like. 
One hour later. So this screenshot is probably more relevant for other cancer patients who are interested in the specifics. I'll explain how to read this data as it can be confusing at first. Feel free to pause at any time. This table shows my blood results for the last four weeks. My most recent results are shown to the left. Now let's look at the very left column, which lists out all the components of my blood that they are testing, such as hemoglobin, neutrophils, etc. I'll let you do research if you want to know what all of these are, because I don't even know. Next, we go to the very right column called reference. It shows what the normal levels are for each component. This is important because if they are too low, then I can't get my next dose of chemo. Now, if you notice an L next to the values in the table, that refers to the value being lower than the normal levels as per the reference. However, some low levels are expected for chemo patients like myself. Okay, now that you've gotten all that information, it's time for needle time, which let's just say isn't the best time. Uh, yeah, they basically stick the needle into this again, and then I get my new chemo bottle. Um, yeah, till Thursday this week, because uh, this, this is my last week on chemo and radiation. So this is week six. Sick. And um, yeah, I finished my radiation on Wednesday, which I'm very excited about. And they take this out on the Thursday, which I'm just as excited about. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> I know, 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 I know
when she brings it over, I'll zoom in. <laughs> okay. um, any one needle a week. Okay, so this is one a needle that long. It's not that long. Not that long. Okay. One and a half centimeter. Yeah, one and a half. Yeah. Alright, just one? keep still. Okay, you tell me when to breathe. Yeah. So I count one, two, three. Oh. Relax. <laughs> relax. 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 Yeah. Relax. Okay. You don't okay. have to. Yeah. Okay. I count three, then okay. you do. Okay? okay. I'm not counting yet. So, okay. Just sit still like that. One, two, three. That's it. In. In, baby. In. In, baby. In. That's good. 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 That's Yeah, there's a little piece sticking out that I can't seem to <laughs> mat down. Where's my makeup department? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so I'm sure I editing to edit that out. How it? <laughs> I've never seen you do that whistle reaction. <laughs> It's only, it's only pain like for 10 seconds. Yeah. It's an instant and then it's like oh, yeah. a bit sensitive. Yeah. So by seven days, it just becomes a long, there's no stick. balloon, it's just a stick. Exactly. Yeah. So, this is my Open. Yep. Yeah. Oh, good. Cool. Good. 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 Good.
My baby's back. My baby is back. <laughs> Why not? Done and done. It is, yeah. She, she, the second time, she does it very, 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 very neat. Not just for the camera, she's neat all the time. Yeah. Consistent. But uh, yeah, that's that's my chemo. So that's how I get chemo. And then this is attached to me for a week, normally, but only a few days this week because first I got no more of this. And that's the end of my chemo routine on 94.5, helping those vibes stay alive. <clears throat> hey, it's Joel. I'm not really a radio DJ, but do you think I have a future career as one? Mm, probably not. But I do want to thank you for watching this video, and I hope you gain some insights into what it's like to do this type of chemo. Thanks again for sticking around, and next up, I'll show you my radiation routine. Cheers.